Hi, this is Alfonso from AXM. We're down to our last section, the engine part of the Starship SN8. Stay tuned and follow the assembly steps. And here are all the parts that make the engine section of the Starship SN8. Um, so I have uh, built most of the elements in this case here all the COPVs and all the legs the ring the base ring for the legs is ready and uh, I have these small parts so I can show you how to build each one of these pieces okay so now let's concentrate on the two pieces that make the pillar for the leg it has a, um, a rectangular prism this is pretty much straightforward how to assemble it it's a long rectangular part hollow and this uh, folded uh, part that will embrace the bottom part of the pillar it will be glued such like this with this opening for the hinge okay so here i'm going to show you the assembled part how it looks and i have added the hinge i will explain that and the optional this black thing here at the, the bottom that's a little magnet i will explain also the use of magnets for these legs but it's optional and this is the leg okay. it also has a magnet um, right inside here but that is optional so let's glue this part here we start by applying glue on the side like that and then this piece is supposed to be folded correctly it's gonna go embracing the sides like this with your fingers try to hold down the sides of it and these butter these parts folded are open in order for the entire piece to stand like this see so as long as you glue correctly this section like that on the other side we are good you can use regular Elmer's glue don't use uh, crazy glue here or instant glue it's not needed the crazy glue you can would um, uh, use for other parts of the legs okay so we're gonna leave this pillar to dry and we're gonna now assemble the actual leg I'm gonna bring one of the assembled legs so you can compare the parts first of all It has the base where the leg stands okay and that is pretty easy it's just two parts that are glued one on top of each other the one that has the two the outline is facing upward so the leg 
will stand on it like this. We're going to have a close look at the leg. It has two parts. One bottom section that is thinner that goes inside this thicker part. Okay. It's an octagonal shape, both. All right. And then there's this cover, the one here. And then there's this little anvil shape like part. Uh, this would be glued to the uh, cylinder on the hinge. All right. Now there's a magnet here inside. But this is how a leg looks like. All right, let's put this away. And we're going to build the two parts that make the center portion of the of the leg. If you count these pieces, these uh these parts there are 8. And just with the with the uh, with your tweezer, start folding it just like that. That's why it's important to use tools. In this case, make use of a tweezer or any tool that will allow you to fold these parts. Now we're going to put glue here on this tab. And we are going to close it. There. And we're going to let it dry. Okay. So this is the bottom section. Now we're going to do the the larger part. It's the same thing, the same number of size and octagon. And here is the larger piece already folded just like the, the smaller one. All right. Now we're, now we're going to put them together. Remember the small part just slides in um, on the larger part. Try to find the, the seam line. The seam line will be at the, at the back. Uh, in order to identify the sides you will notice that um, at least on the larger on the larger part there's one side that is thicker than the other vertical sections so that would go on the side there's one here on this side and there's on the other side as well so those are the left and right for example and this is the front and the seam line is the back so as long as you orient yourself with that part the same thing with a small one so try to align seam line and seam line and just slide in now notice that each part has at least half of the section there are little dots the dots have to be uh, pointing downwards the same thing with the thicker part so you have to put glue on the part that has no dots. We're gonna apply glue on, we are grab it, we are going to grab this piece where the seam line is. Here it is. And I'm going to apply glue on the area that has no dots, no drawn dots. Okay.
so that will be the limit and I'm going to insert this piece onto the larger side larger one With the use of the of your tweezer, you can start sliding it in and press until the section that has no dots is completely inside there. So only the dots can show. All right, there it is, and now we're going to put glue here at the bottom just like this and we're going, we're going to glue it onto its base align it you will it's very difficult to tell from this camera view all right so we managed to build the the pillar and part of the leg now we're going to um, assemble the top portion this will go on top of the leg just fold each one of these tabs like this I already have scored a little bit there you can even bend in the back there are two little triangles try to bend those as well even if you when you look at um, at a real picture of the of the actual leg of the starship you'll notice all these details the details that are shown here are based on photographs okay so we're going to before we glue this here now we're going to insert a magnet and this is what um, uh, this step is completely optional if you want to add a magnet um, these legs can work without magnets and all it uh, the magnet all it does is that it will allow to snap in place when you move it and it will snap to the ring because there's a need to put another a magnet on the base of the pillar and the magnet on the top of the leg so when they make contact like this one here these parts these two have magnets when they they will be together all right but if you don't have magnets it's okay now what magnet it, it has to be a, um, a flexible magnet and these I found um, these are what is called an adhesive magnetic buttons these are magnets that are very soft I have one here and easy to cut you can use a an exacto knife or a knife to cut the pieces um, small enough to fit into the 
the legs here in the openings uh, it, it cannot work with other type of solid um, uh, magnets those are impossible to cut so you really have to find these malleable uh, flexible magnets okay we are going to I already have cut some pieces here and it's just about before you glue them you have to cut two pieces that will snap correctly to each other all right so we're gonna do that now I'm gonna cut little pieces as long as and following the shape of the opening of the pillar it has to fit I have to find another one that will fit into the opposite opening on the leg so I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna make these parts okay I found two magnets that match and they are glued already there so now I can cover this section okay so I'm going to apply glue on all four sides of this piece so that's the key the key part is to find two magnets that are compatible with each other based on how you have cut them and which faces are the faces that will attract so that is very important before gluing the magnet in place okay now I am covering this piece same thing try using your tools your tweezer so you get the idea you have to let all this top glue so we'll wait until it dries and then we put the other portion okay So here is our our leg. It's well dried. We're just going to complete by adding this piece that you see here that looks like a spike coming out. It's like an anvil. Okay. As I mentioned before, this will be glued to the hinge. All right. So. How is this done? Look at this piece. Try um, folding all the segments that you see here, all the folds. the sides here as well okay now we're going to apply glue right there on the back so it will close and this part will take some time to dry you have to keep pressing until both sections are tight and glued tight all right but 
being a small part if you have folded correctly eventually it will it will stay in place and it will dry quick because it stays in place all right so let's try a little bit more And that piece will go here on what is considered the front, this, this tab. All right. And we're, because it's a weak joint, we're going to use instant glue or crazy glue. All right. In this case, um, I prefer using this uh, super gel, um, super glue Loctite from Loctite. I don't make any commissions by showing you this, but it, it works. So we're going to apply just a little drop on this side just a little bit there and this dries very fast so you can you have to act quickly the flat portion facing up and it's just it just glues Oh, sorry, the, the flat portion facing down, it has to be in an angle. We're going to there, just like that. Okay. So the instant glue needs to be used because this part is going to be um, glued to the hinge. And by wear and tear movement, if you use water-based glue, it will come out. So instant glue on this piece. We're going to let it dry. And now we're going to work on the hinge. We're going to put this aside. So the pillar has this opening here. And it's about four to five millimeters uh, in width and separation here. And to start making the hinge, I make use of a, um, a cotton swab. So this has to be cut about four or five millimeters here. And it's better to cut instead of cutting with a scissor, you have to cut with a knife. That way the edges the edges will be flat okay if you cut with a scissor it will not be flat 
So we're going to measure here. I have my ruler. We're going to measure about five millimeters. You have to be careful using the exacto knife. Even on experienced users, you can have an accident. So here is about four and a half or almost five millimeters. I just go like this and roll it, start rolling it, backing up, rolling until the cut is done little by little. Okay, and that we're going to glue on that opening. But before that, we're going to apply the roller. What I call the roller is this gray strip, strip that it has to be curved as a complete cylinder. Now you can use different tools. To curve this but I found a little gadget here I don't know what it's called but it's this little uh, uh, pen has a slit opening here so it could fit a paper on this card in this case this strip and you can start rolling it and curving it look so neat and it makes a full cylinder in the description of this video video i will make a link i will put a link of where i got this tool it's very useful so look with one just one movement one uh turn i have made a cylinder and that has to be glued the, um, the edges so that's what we're going to be doing now there's a line that indicates up to where the, the glue has to be put okay. now we're going to close it All right, we're gonna let this dry because this is the roller that will go on top of this this six cylinder that will act as a hinge. This will roll on top of it. And this cut and swap fits inside so that's the whole purpose of the hinge you see and this will be glued there now I notice that I have cut too long I can cut a little piece further but you can still open this so let's see I'm gonna be cutting a little bit in order to fit more just a little tiny piece
okay right there so now this is the tricky part we have to put glue on both sides here on the inner parts of this opening crazy glue and then stick immediately stick this ring inside being very careful that the cylinder will not get uh, close to the glue um, there are two ways of doing this and I have done both ways I will explain you can put this as a hole or the other way is to to put the to glue the cotton swab first and then the strip has to be threaded in and then with two tweezers close the cylinder all right you can do it both ways and all these five uh five other legs i have done it this way with the uh, cylinder and the cotton swap piece so i'm going to apply crazy glue here open it wide as you can see that that is this is going to help you put this part inside just put a little bit of glue there and there you have to act act quickly because this really works fast I hope the camera will show I hold the piece here and I slide the hinge there and I can start accommodating it there I hold the sides and I just I can even feel that it's rolling I was lucky that the glue did not affect the the strip so I can see that it's rolling and that's what you want to do all right so you have the idea it's a little tricky but with a lot of practice and be, being very careful not to put too much crazy glue because it will glue the paper in this case that ring All right, let's roll. Let it. Let's dry this, and then we're going to put the, all the. We're gonna start adding the legs on the ring. <laughs> 